Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a pause button in scratch.mit.edu. So first we're going to quickly create a variable. We're going to delete this variable, the server one. We're going to call this timescale. Okay, so now we're going to drag this in top of our project and we're going to set the timescale to 1. Now we're going to Save the project if you want to. Okay, so on my change block, I made a custom block. I'll do a tutorial on that later. But basically, I'm gonna add my x and times it to my time scale. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and add the y. So now we're gonna test our project, and hope well, the game is working perfectly. But, if I click that, it stops moving, because the time stop has just stopped. But if I add another second, it works again. But every time we click the time scale, it goes faster. You could use like a fast feature or something, I don't really care on what you do with your projects. It is just a pause tutorial. So, we're just going to look at our code here, but we want to make it so when you pause the game, we do not want to make it so you can hover over your guy. So, I'm going to quickly make it so if time scale is greater than zero, I made a mistake there, we're going to make it so you can touch the sprite with your mouse pointer. See, you can't do that. Now, we're gonna have to make a pause button. So, we're gonna quickly get a win. When key press, we're gonna turn it into a piece for pause. Then, we're gonna add an if else in our project. I'm just having a bit of trouble here. So we're gonna add an if and else in our project. We're gonna make it so if your time scale is e greater than zero or equal to one, uh, uh, you can do whatever. We change the time scale. So I'm just gonna make it like that. So now you have a pause toggle. You can use that in your games. You can even add a menu if you'd like to. And basically, this is the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. See ya!